Welcome. In front of me is a Sony Xperia Pro I or Pro One. And today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So uh, I could progress through the setup just to show you that the device is locked, but the simplest uh, little thing that I can do without wasting time is just show you this icon right here, lock. This means that the device is locked right now. Now, the ways of unlocking it for me right now are just through Google account and also through pattern. If that will matter in any way later on, I don't actually know. So that's why I'm mentioning it right now. Anyway, uh, one requirement that we will need for this is a SIM card. And as you can see, I do have one right over here. It's just a typical SIM card, nothing special about it. Uh, the only thing that it has is a pin, which is required. If your SIM card doesn't have a pin, just pop it into a different device, set up a pin on it, and then use it in this phone. So from here, we're gonna insert it in. Give it a second and it should show up. There we go with the insert SIM pin. And we're just gonna take it out. And I don't know if this is normal or not. We should get a pop-up right here. Uh, but for some reason, for me it is here, but it's not visible. So when I slide down, there we go, it shows up. It already shows up with the option to manage. So if you, for you it looks the same way, just again, do the same thing. Swipe down and select manage. And once you see this, we're gonna now select the option right here, see all from se last seven days. Then we're gonna tap on a phone, click on the icon of a phone and choose open. And then here we're gonna tap on a dialer, we're gonna just type in a bunch of random numbers. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you type in. From there, you wanna select send a message and in text uh, message field, you wanna type in youtube.com. like so and you will actually send it now keep in mind the sim card is not in the phone so it's not really sending any, this message to anyone so from here you're gonna tap on that link it opens up youtube obviously as you probably expect and in here we're gonna click on the icon uh, of the account and we're gonna navigate into settings from here i'm gonna choose about and then Google privacy policy, let's select accept and continue and no thanks. And then in right at the top, the search bar, you wanna type in hard reset that info slash bypass. Like so. If you need a moment to write it down, do pause the video. And in here, once the site loads, Scroll down and you will see settings up. Click on the icon and this will open up the phone's settings. And in here, once you have your settings open, we're going to scroll down to accessibility. Then we're gonna select accessibility menu right over here. And you want to enable it, select allow and okay. And as you can see, it adds this little icon right here at the bottom. So now that we have added this, we're now going to back out. And once again, we're going to go up to apps and notifications. We're going to select see all 37 apps. Then you want to tap on three dots and then select show system. And once you have your show system, we're going to now find the Android setup. We have two of them. So let's start off with the first one. And we're going to now select four stop and OK. We're going to go back. I'm gonna go to the second one. It's also four stops, so the first one we might also need to disable. There we go. So as you can see, I selected disable, and we can now go back. There we go. And we're now gonna look for Google Play services. So let's scroll down, see D F G. So somewhere right here. There we go. Google Play services. I'm gonna click on it and just as before we're gonna select disable disable up and force stop and okay once you have done these two things we're now simply gonna back out 
to the setup. There we go. And we're gonna just jump through the setup right here. And you should be by now stuck on this page, as you can see right here. It will show you that it's checking for updates and it's going to fail checking for updates because uh, because a Google Play services uh, is disabled. So the device has nothing to really contact about the info of this device. So once you see this page, click on these, this little guy icon right here, select assistant. This will show up settings right here, but not always. Try that again. There we go, settings. And you want to click on that, and this will take you to the Google Play services uh, site or, or page, the same one that we selected to disable Play services. Hopefully I can show you quickly. As you can see, this will probably take us uh, some time. Uh, I think the faster the device is, the more annoying this is. So I th I'm going to try to do it really quickly uh, and keep repeating it till the device kind of slows down. Hopefully. Uh, once I get to the uh, Google Play services page, uh, I will need to select enable, which I believe will be probably somewhere right here. Though. I'm not entirely sure just yet because as you've seen, I can't even get it open. And do expect the same thing for yourself. Uh, it's just something that you need to kind of keep repeating till it actually works. There is no right or wrong way as long as you're basically pressing this guy here, assistant settings, and then uh, trying to press on enable, which I believe might be here or here, just depending on which, uh, what kind of version will open. Uh, you want to keep repeating it till you actually manage to enable it. That's all we need to do. So we'll see how many times it takes me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was actually way simpler now that I uh, get into it. So as you can see, enable was right over here. Once you enable it, it won't close off. But even if you open up the app info, as I have right here, Sometimes it will close if you don't press it fast enough, or even if you press this, sometimes it just won't react to it and it will close it anyway. So just keep on repeating till you get this enabled. Once you do, click on back once, and this will take you to Google services. So right now we're gonna select accept right here, and we're gonna finish up the setup right now. At this point, you just want to skip everything that you can just because it doesn't really matter what we set up the device is still locked so just try to finish it up as quick as you can and once you have access to your home screen you want to navigate into settings then scroll all the way down to system select advanced reset options erase all data factor reset erase all data and then tap on this button again now i won't be going uh, through this on the video just because this is just a typical factory reset it resets the device back to its factory settings brings you back to the setup screen uh, but the reason you want to do this is like i mentioned the device is still technically locked it still has the info of the old user but by performing a factory reset of the device through settings like i'm showing right now to do this this removes the old accounts and every kind of like old user data. And because of that, it just unlocks the device. So once the factory reset has been completed and you're back in the setup screen, uh, you can set up your device however you want. It will be fully unlocked so you can do uh, the setup just as you would normally do with either connecting to Wi-Fi or having the ability to skip it. It's completely up to you. But that being said, this is how you bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.